cling wrap or plastic wrap iron-on shirt things because you know how like you do the transfers so you print it out just printed it and then taking it plastic wrap or cling wrap and ironing it on now I've never done this before I've never done this never tried it so I don't know if it's gonna work so you're trying it with me basically but okay so I got plastic wrap and I got cling wrap just because I don't know which one is the right one because I see some people say plastic wrap works sometimes people say clean wrap works sometimes they both don't work I don't know so I'm gonna try it out I tie dye two things to put it on just to see like how it will work and if it does work then cool <laughs> so as you can tell I'm very excited for this video but make sure that you guys like and subscribe down below make sure you follow my Instagram so I can talk to you guys and contact you guys and see like what you guys are doing and stuff like that so i just wanted to intro this video so i could explain what we're doing today i will probably have already added a video of like what this looks like so you guys can kind of get it i'll add one from tiktok somewhere in here okay i'm pretty sure everyone has seen the tiktok where you take saran wrap put it around some pictures and then slap it on some shirts and i want to know if it actually works or not these are the four pictures we're working with Gonna go with this hunker of an image for the first attempt. Okay, so it actually worked way better than I thought so, it would. Basically, I heard the cling wrap works the best. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use cling wrap on one and plastic wrap on the other so that I could try it for you guys. So you guys don't have to. So you guys know which one works and which one doesn't and if it works at all, okay? so. shirts first tie-dye shirt we have is this one i didn't know it was a v-neck i don't you know but i didn't do the best at these also so this is what the first one looks like it's kind of wrinkled because you know just washed it dried it all that so that's what this one looks like okay next we have my hoodie which doesn't really have like a pattern it's kind of just like tie-dyed I'm thinking I'm gonna do something right here. I think I'm gonna leave this how it is. I'm not gonna crop it or anything. This one, I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna do all the way with this one yet. Those are the two shirts that I'm using. If this does work, I will be doing more shirts, but we're just testing it out for now to see if it really does work. If not, I'm never buying transfer paper again, cause what's the point? Anyway. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get this started. I'm really excited for this video. So I'm gonna show you guys the pictures that I chose or will choose to put on. I have a couple and then after I figure out which one I want to put on, I will show you guys the whole entire process. So let's get started. Um, only one of these will go on one of the shirts, but I'm just gonna show you guys all the options. We have the office. The um, Mifflin. Haha, <laughs> the office. Friends. If you couldn't tell by now, what show do I like? <laughs> Friends and the Office. <laughs> and then, haha, -ha, surprise! Friends. So, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna do one of these on the sweater. Or, yeah, because I don't want to put friends and then friends. So, one of these on the sweater, and then one of these on the shirt so that's the plan i will you guys will see which one i choose obviously for them but that's the plan so far to choose one of those to put on so let me show you guys my setup right now okay so this is just basically what we're working with i brought in wax paper because you have to iron over it so wax paper you can iron over so yeah basically i brought that in here so i just have these lined up and then i'm gonna show you guys kind of like a view like this so you guys can see kind of what i'm doing with the process and I'm gonna explain it all right you guys are at a different kind of angle right now because I'm trying to set up 
the supplies. Um, I had to go get the iron for my mom. So we're gonna plug this in. So while my iron is heating up, I'm gonna lay out my stuff. So I'm gonna do the shirt first. Remember the shirt is gonna be in plastic wrap, not cling wrap. We're gonna do two different kinds to see which one works better. So I'm gonna get you guys set up so you guys can see what I'm about to do. What's up guys so it's voiceover serenity so basically i'm just um flattening out the t-shirt making sure that it's really straight and um there's not a lot of wrinkles then i'm gonna get the plastic wrap um and then i'm gonna also get the wax paper and you're supposed to use parchment paper but i heard wax paper is fine too and it worked just fine for me and then i'm gonna take the image that i chose and i'm gonna cut it out um i wanted to make it like really close to the line to have like a seamless kind of edge almost so that's basically what I'm about to start doing now. So now that I finished cutting it out, I'm about to get the plastic wrap and I just pulled out an amount that I thought would work because um, it's not that big of an image. So I just pulled out a fair size amount of the plastic wrap and then I just placed the image in the center, which you're about to see me do in a second. Okay, so now that I have my amount, I'm just going to place it in the center and then make sure that it's flat and there's no holes or um, bubbles in the plastic wrap and then I just cut along the edge and I wasn't trying to be perfect along the edge when I was cutting because it's going to be folded anyway so nobody's really going to see it so I just went pretty fast. Alright so now I'm folding it and I was just trying to make sure that I could get as much of the air out and get it as flat as possible while I was folding it. Um, I should have gone all the way to the edges and not left any of the plastic around the sides, but it's fine. So I just cut off a little bit of excess there because I feel like there's no picture there, so I really didn't need that extra. And then I'm going to fold it to the back just so that that's not hanging out on the sides either. And then I'm going to flip it around and make sure that I have it in the right place. Alright, so now that I have it in the right place, I'm going to take the wax paper, just take a random amount, rip it, and then get the iron, and we're about to start ironing over it. Um, I did this for about 3 to 5 minutes. Um, I tested it to make sure that the, the plastic wrap was actually sticking to the shirt, and once I saw that and I felt like it was pretty hot, then I um, decided to stop. <laughs> So that was enough ironing, then I felt to make sure it wasn't too hot, and then found the right place <laughs> to peel it off, and then I just started peeling, and once I peeled everything off, I was shook that it was actually staying and not peeling off. Um, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was shook. But I'm going to explain the results at the end, don't worry, like the caption says. <laughs> Alright guys, so for this sweater we're going to use cling wrap and we're still going to use the wax paper on top. We're also going to use this picture, that's the one that I chose for the sweater. I'm just doing a quick rough cut just to get like the large edges away so it's easier for me to cut it and have a closer edge. So basically that's just me doing that right now, I'm just cutting it out. <laughs> that's what it looks 
leg and we're about to grab the cling wrap and do the same thing that we did with the plastic wrap just put the image face down on the cling wrap and then wrap it all together i think i did also trim some access um off of the friend's image on this too and i wish i would have trimmed a little bit more just so i can give it that clean look and you'll see what i mean at the end but um that's just my tip moving forward i would cut the plastic wrap as close to the edges as possible now i'm just completing that same process of folding it and making sure all the edges are folded in so there's not so much excess left over process take a piece of wax paper put it on top and we're gonna iron over it um, for this I also want to reiterate make sure you guys try to cut off as much of the plastic wrap as possible just so you can get a clean and nice edge What's up guys so you guys saw what I just did to the shirts and the sweater um you guys got to see like what I did I wrapped it in the cling wrap and then I just ironed it so I'm gonna show you guys the finished product now so this shirt is first this is what the shirt looks like you guys can kind of see so I will be doing something to this shirt aside like upping it up somehow but this is what it looks like right now i think it came out really good to be honest for it to be plastic wrap it's just it looks really cheap if you could tell obviously it's obviously it's paper but it just looks cheaper like you can see there's holes i don't know if you guys can see but there's like a, a little bit of a hole already through it so i would not advise the plastic wrap unless you're just doing this just for fun and like you're not trying to go to like a fashion shoot or something I would say, you know, just try it. This was with the plastic wrap. So then I did the sweater in the cling wrap. Sorry, a different angle, but I did the sweater in the cling wrap. So that's what this one is. I absolutely love this. You can tell in the sunlight, you can see where I ironed it on at. But up close, you can tell, but from far away, it really looks like I could have bought this. This is so pretty to me. If you can see it a little bit better. This is so pretty. So when doing this project, I would advise to use the clean wrap just because it stuck on there better. It seems like it's more of a seamless edge. I like it. It looks really, really nice. So I'm about to show you guys what they look like on and here is that <laughs> and you guys can connect with me and you guys can let me know any new videos that you guys want me to do 
and make sure that you guys comment down on this video so that you could be the comment of the week and this week's comment of the week is this person right here make sure that you guys go ahead and follow their youtube channel down below this is the comment of the week so yeah if you would like to be the next comment of the week make sure that you comment down below on one of my videos or follow me on my instagram and comment on there or just let me know how you liked this week's video so without further ado i hope you guys have a wonderful day and make sure that you subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye